I am so angry right now. I, I, I could break something. You know what? I, I am gonna break something. Like this. Like this. Like this. Oh. Here we go. It's not like the alleyway isn't already full of broken glass. And that is how mad I am because an Indiegogo campaign stole my lightsaber design and they raised $100,000. This is the Star Glow Retractable Blade Saber on Indiegogo. It's a cool idea. It looks cool. It looks like a real lightsaber. It sets stuff on fire. Um, and this is my real burning lightsaber from 2015. It was the world's first retractable blade plasma lightsaber. Well, okay, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, it wasn't. Point is, I know exactly how the star glow works because it's literally the same thing as my lightsaber. My lightsaber was explained on national television. Inside Alan's off-the-shelf lightsaber shell, there's a canister with a movable syringe-like plunger inside it. This campaign was started in May of 2020. And if you go to their about page, the Star Glow team was born five years ago. Wow, what a what a sincere and honest coincidence that your company was founded the exact same year that I published my video. Why not just lie? Why use like the exact timeline? Why not just lie at that point? <laughs> Here's the thing. I am mad, but I'm also honestly kind of impressed because I've never been able to sell my ideas. But clearly, this Michael Paley fellow, even though he didn't credit me, like, at all, the fact that he was able to actually make my idea better and sell it, honestly, you know what? Kudos to you, Michael Paley. So let's take a look at the comments and see what exactly Michael did to improve my lightsaber design. I think Sasquatch and the Loch Ness Monster has all of our sabers. Where is my saber? Paley is a scam artist. Scam, 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 scam. If you think this is too good to be true, then you are correct. Do yourself a favor and read this entire comment section before backing this fraudulent project. Uh-oh. I just wanted to see how he was able to improve my idea and turn it into a real product, but apparently the best way to make $100,000 on the internet is to just scam people. <laughs> but like, what scam? Like, they actually built this thing. In their story campaign, you can see reaction of people to Starglow. They got these GIF images, real people in Los Angeles, because that's where they said that their company is based out of. Here's the thing. I live in Los Angeles. This is Los Angeles. Whatever is going on here does not look like Los Angeles. Let's do a little geolocating, shall we? They look like they're in some kind of outdoor like shopping center and this guy in particular is standing in front of a place called Cascade Plaza. So we'll go ahead and Google Cascade Plaza. Go to images and it's in the UK. You see like they have these these weird towers with like the lights on them. This is exactly, this is literally where they filmed in Dnipro, Ukraine, which by the way, is not Los Angeles. What are you hiding, Michael Paley? Why even at that point say you're in Los Angeles? Just say that it's a Ukrainian lightsaber. Are you ashamed of your Eastern European heritage? To be fair, let's hear from the man himself. This is how the campaign is written, presumably by Michael Paley. No. no, this is not a trick, and it is not a product of computer graphics. We have truly managed to reproduce the realistic effect of a light sword in the material world. <laughs> Look, I think, being Chinese, I think I'm allowed to make fun of their English. <laughs> Employing high-tech achievements in aerodynamics and forming the elegant shapes that metal can take nowadays. If you read this and you gave them $200 for a lightsaber, you are an idiot! We have successfully constructed and can now offer you a truly impressive device from the cult movies universe. Are you kidding me? I have to get my hand on one of these. Let's go ahead and for 200 bucks get the Dark Padawan kit and it sold out. Luckily, I was able to contact a backer of the campaign who, unlike most other Starglow backers, actually received a lightsaber in the mail. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to interview them because, and I quote, I'd prefer to not be mentioned in the video. I just want to put this all behind me. 
Jesus Christ. And less than a week later, this package showed up at my door. And my friend William Osman is a former BattleBot safety inspector, so if anyone can help me make sense of whatever is in this box and whether or not it's safe for humans, it's him. <laughs> All right, so this is what was sent to the backer and we just got it exactly as he got it. It does not have instructions that I can see. It's partially 3D printed, partially, I don't know, machined aluminum, and there is absolutely no indication of how this thing is supposed to work. This is a disaster. And this threaded bit is like 3D printed threads. This is already cracked. Oh God. <laughs> this is not, I don't know what this is, but it's not good. You have to put pressure on the methanol to slowly squirt it out of a little tiny orifice. I guess. You did it with butane. Yes, and. You have to do it manually here? There's what appears to be just a butane lighter. I bet if we pulled this out, this dude, this is just a big lighter without the like the ignition part. Aluminum, you feel like the aluminum galling. Oh yeah, I don't know how to put that back in. What battery is that? Do you see the size of this battery case? That's not a double A. It's like fat and short. That is. I genuinely have no idea. Uh, I have one idea. What did you? I mean that fits, but this is what, 6.2 volts? What, it where does, did you find this battery? It's for my camera, it's for my medium format camera. If this works, I'm gonna push this button and these two things should arc, I think. Oh, okay, so this works. There is a high voltage circuit in this thing. It creates an arc between these two electrodes. That's a big arc. Try on my fingernails. I, I had a manicure with uh, Diana Coward and Xyla Foxlin. Did they run out of clear cut? No, I, I just, I asked them to surprise me and they surprised me. As far as I can tell, you Slide this switch down, butane comes out, you push this button, it ignites, you have a lit pilot light, and then at the same time, you just push the bottom so that the fuel shoots out. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I should probably wear gloves. Quick facts about methanol. It's the only fuel I know of that'll work in this lightsaber. It's the kind of chemical that gets a skull and crossbones on it because it'll give you cancer and also it can absorb through your skin. If you show up to a hospital with methanol poisoning, the antidote is actually ethanol. So the hospital will pump you full of very, very expensive Everclear. So if you are exposed to a bit of methanol and you want to be super duper safe, make sure you drink a cocktail right after. All right, get the poison in the syringe. 3D printed threads. It's quicker to reset than my lightsaber, I'll give him that. I don't know if it's supposed to stay down, but I think this gets put down, and so then I can do this. <gasps> okay, so the fire, the pilot light gets lit. You got the pilot light going, and then you just, you just squeeze from the bottom, I think. Oh, oh, look, it's very, woo, that's very crooked. Can you see that at all? That's, uh, it's working though. Oh, oh my God, no, it's not. Oh, something, something broke. <laughs> We're safe. Do you have any beer? Did you get methanol in your uh, All over. Something like when, and then I just got splashed. Can you imagine paying $200 and getting this in the mail? Yes. And we were living that right now. We're living it right now. Oh, wait. Ignition isn't going now. Really? Yeah. There we go. I actually don't know what's going to happen when I push it this time. Alright, here we go, Ukrainian lightsaber. Oh! And that was it. I think the syringe is broken. Did you at least see that? Uh, yeah, it just looked like a little sad pee-pee. The entire, this entire bottom part is just covered in methanol. They're out of their minds selling this. <laughs> like, it's... That's how much it was leaking at the That's bottom. That's really bad. Dude, this thing is an absolute, like, hazard. I can't even describe how dangerous this thing, like, like, it, from every front. Look what they did to my boy. Look at what they did to my baby. <sighs> this is dangerous, because, like, the people that are going to buy something like this are, are people who don't understand, like, the dangers of methanol or the dangers of literally creating a small flamethrower. Yeah, but it is also the only commercially available real lightsaber.
please. If you are one of the 374 backers of the Indiegogo Star Glow project, please, for the love of God, do not try and use them. If you end up actually getting one of these in the mail, do not try to use it. Just don't. <laughs> please, please don't. Did you know that two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? Good thing I'm only 31. I used to have a lot more hair and now I have less hair, but the key to fighting hair loss is prevention so that you can keep the hair that you cur- Oh, that's why it's called Keeps. With Keeps, a licensed real doctor will review your information online and recommend the right hair loss treatment plan for you. Then your treatment is shipped directly to your door every three months. You can message your Keeps doctor 24 seven and keep track of your progress with the Keeps progress tracking tool. The thing is, Keeps treatments can take at least four to six months before you start seeing results. So the sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you can save. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash Alan Pan or click the link in the description to get 50% off your first order.